Hello there, the Fate with Arpuna here, ready for another higher rank Royal Ludroth in the current events quest. This time with a bow weapon class and the upgrade to the Arco Nulo Type R as the weapon of choice. The bow itself is a piercing type bow for the most part, for the most charges, so I'm going to be using the Diablos Armor set as it boosts piercing damage. So I'll weapon craft, upgrade and the Arco Nulo Type R into the Arco Uno Type R. Which, if we compare the both, it's a slight here, uh, about yeah, a level in attack damage, raw damage, 40 points in uh, fire damage additional. Charge attacks, let's see, only the stage 1 increases to piercing level 2 from the level 1, the other two stages remain the same. So not much boost there. And coatings, well we are pretty much limited. Paralysis, close range and paint. But at least it boosts paralysis. So I'm not sure if I want to bring paralysis for it. I guess I could. I've done it before so it's boost to paralysis. Might as well try and use it. So we take 20 paralysis shots. And we're pretty much set to go. Now the bow itself, let's see, it's a fire type damage. Skills I have critical I plus 2, that's why you can see the affinity being at 25. From that. Speed gatherer, well, decided to jam it in, piercing up, that's good. Tremor resistance, no use. Negative precision, that's actually no effect on bows. So I don't need to worry about removing that particular skill even if it's negative. Now, gunners tend to be milk and meat, but that's usually gunners. Sharp, shooter, I think it's only normal shots, not actual rapid fire. And anyway, we have piercing, so that's no use to me, for me either. In fact, nothing here is of good use, so let's try another mix. That was a bad one anyway, no fresh items there. So maybe these two, medic, somewhat. Defender high, maybe. That's the best I can think of. What about these two? Don't really need polish out. Although, specialist and balancer. Okay, balancer can be handy for the bows a bit, I believe. Could be wrong. It means that small attacks actually won't trip you. And since there's going to be Ludros about, I might just well try it, see how it goes. I used to try and get specialist. So it boosts the paralysis even further. It's easier to pull off. Or at least it would take less shots. And we're going to get Balancer. Well. Go to events. And we go. Let's see where we start. Hopefully nearby. No, just at the camp. Well, yeah, take the map anyway. Now it's just work camp. It's actually quite convenient because the, uh, the shortcut takes us straight forward to it. We will spawn at night, so this is not a bad start actually. So where are you? Ooh, didn't see us. So let's start off with the fantasies. Get it out as early as possible, I suppose. Now, as I've done with the other weapons, let's talk about the bow in 4 ultimate. What changes I've noticed so far. Well, you have the new type of bows that can use power shots over arc shots. Uh -huh. yeah, that makes experience with them. I've tried a couple that spawned, but four. I managed to get. It seems. Potentially damaging. Technically, what they do is it allows to. Oh, let's change. Normal shots, but regular shots, bow arrows. After any charged shot. So, what I'm doing here, after every third level charge shot, you can follow up with a power shot. 
which increases the level type of the shot itself. So like, you shoot two volleys, the single one being much, much more powerful in general. That, though, at the cost of uh, one stamina bar, equal to a roll, I believe. So your stamina can drain really fast if you don't have a, you know, dash juices or mega dash juices active in one way or another. Or you have the skill, you know, the stamina skill that lowers uh, stamina consumption when you charge it. Might as well change the close range coating. Let's see if we can do extra damage. It's a bit weird when using PS shots. Oh, yeah, piercing arrows. I suppose it does more damage the closer you are. Ooh, okay. I go when it went over me. So yeah, so Bo can do that, at least with the power shots. I haven't noticed any real difference from for the arc shots that still still exist. You have to use all three widespread. What's the other one? The small one spread and then the focus. Oh look, there's this focus and blast. So it's widespread, focus and blast, plus now the charge or the power shot, sorry. I don't think there's any other changes to its attack patterns. I mean, you just charge the shot and release it at the right time for it. What I have noticed is that because uh, most maps have uneven terrain levels, or slanted levels, aiming with a bow is much more difficult. Because here I just can charge and fire, because I know the monster is going to be at the same level. But when some maps of a bot ultimate, the terrain's like on a hill or, you know, it's not flat land essentially is what I mean. It's not a even flat land, it's a slanted in some of them, or you have hills, cliffs, things like that. So you kind of have to stop to aim every shot, which, you know, you know that slows down the damage output. So yeah, there's a new mechanic of having 3D ele elevation. It's not so good for those. They have a bit of trouble with it. I think it's pretty much the same problem as having firing underwater. Except that the shots don't arc as much. Okay, bad roll. I wish they allowed to side roll for bow users. The fact that you can't do that until you move is annoying. You can either back hop or roll forward. You technically can't really roll to a side until the character's moved part of a step towards that side. So if you try to roll a bit too early, or do go forward or hop backwards. Ooh, that was a bad shot. Completely missed it. Maybe you should try to aim for the crest. Although I'm doing damage. I'm not really hitting the crest, am I? And I'm blowing stamina grey and they spat on me. Should have taken... Oh, there's the break to the crest, that's nice. That's juice, I mean. Should have taken... At least to try and negate some of this water blight. Doesn't last for too long because it's from the regular Ludros. So the water effect is not as damaging or annoying. Doesn't last that long. That was a bad shot. As you can see, I just don't need to aim, I just you need to face the monster properly, and that should be enough. Again, and for you, some of the terrain prevents from doing that. I'm guessing there are some areas here in third and three ultimate 
I uh, like that, but it's not as bad. Nice interception. Aim to where it was going to be, not where it was. And I didn't bring... Not even energy drinks. Well, hopefully we'll die soon enough. Although it's not... wasn't limping, so... That might not be the case. Yeah, having less stamina for our bow users is not a good idea. It means I will run out of stamina that much sooner, which means third level charge shots will not be possible for your second. And I just walked into that. Okay, nice boomerang trip. Is it exhausted? Apparently it is. Get this water out of its mouth. Can I read? Yeah, I did reach it, but. I'm not sure if you heard it, it was more of a metallic sound, so the piercing shots didn't really do that much damage. You notice that the drawn arc shot changes as I charge the level. That's because the second charge, as I said, it was a normal type shot. And they seem to have a lower arc than the piercing one. Piercing one having one of the, well, the longest. And of course the spread having the lowest. Usually attacking from the side with the piercing shot is not that good, but they seem to do at least two hits. Although from the tail to the head, or the head from the tail, it does seem to do a lot of hits. And we're going underwater. Not what I wanted. But it's what I'm getting. Can I fire it from here? Probably. If I can aim probably. Maybe a bit lower, since it likes to sink. Problem is that it's going to do that from time to time, so... Going to be missing most of the time. And I missed that one. Let's try to go slightly lower, so we don't get this weird half on the surface, half underwater information. So this is the issue you have underwater, which is very similar to what I've described with different areas in Fall Ultimate. You have to compensate for the terrain deformation, which means you have to aim up or down in order to connect. And if you aim too low, you might just hit the ground. At least here on the water, obstacles are out of the way. You pretty much don't have any, except for maybe these big pillars, but you can go around them. Let's go a bit away the camera. Missing a lot underwater. Good thing I rolled away from that. Okay, hitting a bit, that's nice. Don't really need that much distance. Let's try not short that. It's completely useless. It's arc shots underwater are the worst. Where are you going? My goodness, they just shot so low. That was a bad aiming. But again, it's underwater, what do you expect? Okay, that was a nice shot to the head. Okay, 
Even a Vader, yes, nicely. Oh, out then, stand me down. Well, at least I didn't waste any coatings for that. So some out. Okay, that one flinched it and raised it. Really? You're going to miss like that? Oh. I think I shot Chacha. Of course, when you aim, since you have to hold the trigger button, no, the attack button, it drains stamina as you're aiming. Okay, it's limping. So we're going to have to fight a bit at 11. And when if we don't get the kill there, we can finish up at 12, which is at least land. Now, we might want to save some stamina for when we enter the next area so it doesn't start that low. Already down one bar, probably a second one actually, soon enough. And I don't want to use stage two, char two charges here because they are just not normal shots or rapid fire shots, which they don't get any damage boost from the armor set since so I don't have any skill related to that. And I missed again. It was a bit weird. It didn't actually spin at the same spot. It kind of uh, shifted a bit to the side. Oh come on! <laughs> what a badly timed flinch. I just flinched it as I fired the arrow at it and missing the missed the head. Okay, stamina's low. Can this hit for nothing? No, I thought that was low enough for the arrow drop to hit, but no. At least we're moving to land, so this is much better. Maybe we should bring down bombs if I don't want to fight in water. Try to force it to go to land, I'm not sure if that works. Okay, let's wait for it and land. It's going to be the Ludros though, so that can be inconvenient. Let's start the arrow shot. Oh. Nice, well time. Careful, and then you got walked into that one again. Again, low stamina. I really should have brought energy drinks. The damage from the piercing shots is nice, but without a good stamina skill, can't really get the charge to stage 3. On a regular basis, I mean. We really don't want to be firing those piercing shots so close. It's not really letting me do anything else. That was a nice shot. Wrong. I keep forgetting that this is not far ultimate. I don't have the monster tag. Maybe just should set it so it works in the same way as I have it on for you, so that way the habits of one doesn't interfere with the other. Good for not short. It's a focus type throw. So some hits there, that's not bad. Oh got hit by the remaining gaze of a water splash attack. Is that a good shot? Well, at least I've got a nice flinch. Now, is this doing more damage than using a piercing charge shot? Well, I don't get a bonus from it. So, probably not. 
Might be getting a calf tail, uh, tail calf this time. Obviously, because he didn't bother to cut the tail. Not that I want to do so. It's not that required. You can do it with a bow, but too tedious. Would be nice to see them to add a coating that can slice off tails at some point. Give more options to bow users. Even the current amount of coatings is just really small. I mean, you don't even have to choose, you just bring everything that there is, all coatings, and you still will have plenty of room in the ammo coating. Oh, ammo pouch. Anyway, time remaining 33, 33. 33 minutes and 33 seconds remaining. That's roughly, let's see, above the 15 minute mark before the 20th. Yeah. Well, we've got plenty of rewards this time, so that's good. Got scales, pluses, oh, oh this is going to be all plus. Claw plus, well, quality sponges, these are low rank items, but they are rare, so that's good to have. Twin sacks, das extract. Speak of the deal about mega das juices and das juices. King bones, atmospheres, carbolite or mystery charms. More carbolite, immense atmosphere, and honey. Then hides and crests. Help plus three, oh, for plus eight, I don't really need this. So, this has been the favourite Arpuna, hunting a high rank Royal Lodroth with the bow weapon class, and the Arconulo Type R, the fire type, as a weapon of choice. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time, and good hunting.